All right, back home tonight, three men facing weapons charges in a shooting in Mattapan that wounded five people. Now, there's been an alarming number of mass shootings across the country over the past two days, 11 in all. CBS News describes a mass shooting as one in which at least four people are wounded. In the incidents of the past two days, 56 people have been wounded. WBZ's Katrina Kincaid takes us to the Mattapan neighborhood where people are rattled over the violence on July 4th. We learned that all five of those victims who were shot overnight do have non-life-threatening injuries. Boston EMS telling us that they took three people to the hospital. Here's what the scene looked like this morning. The rest of it, just dozens of firework boxes still on the street. Wild. Uh, the fireworks are going crazy. There were some big ones, some small ones. Around 2 a.m., Boston police say the incident took place at 33 Edgewater Drive, the same area as those fireworks. They've arrested two people and recovered two guns from the scene. I just found out. That's unfortunate. Condolences to their families, and I hope that uh, we continue to promote safety in the city. Every day I get out of my house, I care. I got to care. Because I don't want to die. Evidence markers were everywhere on River Street. We counted over 50, especially around a car that was marked as evidence itself. Empty boxes of fireworks filled the corner of River Street and Edgewater Drive. But further down the road, before street sweepers arrived, it was almost impassable to get down River Street because of the debris lining the street. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of people being right here. Every lot of people be there. Local residents say the community needs better resources to keep each other safe. It happens everywhere. Violence is an issue that in this country I feel like we need to promote more awareness about how to uh, have safe practices and gun control. Boston police say that no one has been charged as of yet for the shootings. They are still investigating the incident and we'll bring you more information as soon as we have it. In Mattapan, Katrina Kincaid, WBC News.